STM et Eid Mubarak à tous ceux et celles qui fêtent Eid aujourd'hui. May you have a happy and blessed Eid. Mes amis, the last time I shared some reflections with you, I talked about the hopeful anticipation of tomorrow, of what is to come, the Easter promise of new life in each new moment. But today, I want to think about today. Ce que nous porte ce jour, l'aujourd'hui. This is a difficult time of the semester. We have academic, athletic, extracurricular, and personal responsibilities. We have expectations and obligations to meet with the looming deadline of the end of our semester and of our school year. We keep our heads down, checking items off of our to-do lists, and those lists are long. Mes amis, let us together, maintenant, en ce moment, take a moment to breathe, to think. What can I do today, aujourd'hui, en ce moment, en ce jour, to meet my goals, to be my best self, to persevere with grace? We're in this together, STM. Prions le Seigneur. Au nom du Père et du Fils et du Saint-Esprit, Amen. Seigneur Dieu, grant me what I need to meet this day with perseverance and with grace. Help me to offer help when I can and to ask for help when I need it. Help me to acknowledge that though I may be struggling in this moment, others around me may be as well. Be with me today, Seigneur Dieu. Help me to persevere and to give thanks for this today. Amen. Saint Thomas mort, priez pour nous. Au nom du Père et du Fils et du Saint-Esprit, Amen. Bonne journée, STM. Good morning and happy Tuesday morning to STM. Want to have a big shout out to the junior girls soccer team and the junior boys soccer team. Both won the semifinals yesterday and have now earned a spot advancing to the championship game that will be played. The junior girls soccer team will play Bishop Tonus. The junior boys soccer team will play Bishop Ryan and both those championship games will be played on St. Thomas More Field. The day and the time will be confirmed. So go Knights, go. We also want to send out a big thank you to the head coaches, Mrs. Burke and Miss Ivanak. We also have today continuing on the girls slow pitch and they're um, in action today and hopefully also into semifinal and final action. So good luck and all the best. We also have OPSA track happening this week and we also have OPSA for girls soccer happening this week. So once again, go Knights, go. So we have a lot, a lot of good news to share. So too much that uh, we couldn't do it all yesterday, but we do wanna showcase what has been going on, all the action around St. Thomas More. And here we have a couple of photos to share with you. And this last week was Law Day with Mr. Runko. Mr. Runkle has come back to St. Thomas More and has uh, run his lunchtime law sessions here at St. Thomas More both semesters. Big thank you to Mrs. Leone for uh, supporting this and bringing back and inviting back Mr. Runkle and a big thank you to Mr. Runkle for all his uh, great enthusiasm and work with our students, just fabulous. Also last week, you do remember, we had a water festival. We also had a lot of rain, so it was a true water festival down at Bayfront Park. But we also have some fabulous, fabulous photos to share with you. So the water festival took place last Tuesday and Wednesday. And uh, here we have the students. So on May 28th and May 29th, uh, science students who have been doing this for over 10 years. So over 180 science students from St. Thomas More attended day one and day two of the 12th annual Hamilton Children's Water Festival. There they assisted with running over 30 activities and in doing uh, everything from planting saplings to fixing water mains. They demonstrated the importance of water to the grade four students who were there over those last two days. Over the past 12 years, St. Thomas More has consistently stepped up to the plate, not only running the activities, but also being excellent role models to the younger students 
and this year was no different. Despite the gloomy weather, the students made the day an exceptional one and a really, really great sunny one. Here you have a great quote. We greatly appreciate the support you offered us again this year at the Water Festival. The student volunteers are invaluable to us and they help us make the festival run smoothly each year. And that was from the uh, City of Hamilton manager who uh, does all the uh, activities and promotion for the Water Festival. A big shout out to Mrs. Silvestri, Department Head in Science, and Mr. Villela. Both Mrs. Silvestri and Mr. Villela have been very uh, greatly involved over the past year and certainly made their mark. So well done and thank you so much to the students. We did have yesterday the announcement, but now we also have a photo. So on Saturday, uh, STM hat team, the run for it with Mrs. Furman and D'Angela, the hat STM team, um, supporting mental health for women at Confederation Park. That was this past Saturday. Shoppers Drug Mart is a big sponsor. And St. Joseph's West Fifth will benefit from SDN's run for it. And uh, we had a fabulous team out there. So thank you to Mrs. Fermani D'Angelo and all the students who participate. So now on to more announcements. Have a great day, St. Thomas More. Good morning, I'm Mrs. Bozzo. This is a message to all potential graduates with regards to this Thursday graduation day. Just to remind you that this Thursday morning, you need to make your way down to the, uh, cathed the Pro Cathedral, which is located on Park Street by 8.30. Mass starts promptly at 8.45, so we would like everyone there by 8.30 because parking's limited, so you want to get there early enough to find yourself a spot. Immediately following the Mass, you want to make your way to the Hamilton Convention Center. There we will be setting up for brunch. You need to arrive by 10.30. The doors will open at 10.30 and then we will begin promptly right afterwards. After brunch, we will then line you up and proceed over to the on First Ontario Concert Hall, otherwise known as the Hamilton Place. And then from there, we will run a rehearsal. Rehearsal is mandatory. Without, If you are not there, you will not be receiving a ticket that will allow you to come in that evening. If you have any questions throughout the day, you can ask myself, Mrs. Bozzo, you can ask Mrs. Corber, you can ask Mrs. Paradisi, or Mrs. Young. One last thing, if there's anyone out there with extra graduation guest tickets, could you please come and see me or bring them tomorrow morning, bring them to me, because I know there's a few students that would like to bring extra guests to the ceremony. As of right now, there is absolutely no guest tickets. We are full house, so please do not ask me today if there are any guest tickets. Have a great day. to all of you who have signed up to walk or assist with this Sunday's Walk for Muscular Dystrophy. We are so grateful for all the student and staff support we get each year. If you attend and raise $25 in donations, you can earn up to 10 Christian service hours. Pizza and snacks are provided after the walk. It is always a great event for an important cause. Monies raised go to help with much needed research and assistance with equipment, purchases and advocacy. We have all personally benefited from the funds and services of Muscular Dystrophy Canada, so all donations are going towards a worthwhile cause. If you still would like to join us, you can sign up in the guidance office. Please return all pledge money and forms by Friday, if at all possible. We will also be holding a brief meeting on Friday for all those who have signed up to go over instructions for the day. So use your biggest muscle, STM, your heart and join us on Sunday for the Walk for Muscular Dystrophy. Oh, that'll be a
Good morning, STM. I'm Max. And uh, my name's Jez, and we're here with your sports and activities. So uh, first with your activities, just a reminder that there will be prefect tutoring today during periods two, three, and four in student success. As well, there will be an important mandatory meeting for all new and returning prefects on Wednesday morning at 7.45 in the lecture hall. Uh, this is a reminder to all students who have applied to summer co-op that the first mandatory pre-placement class is today in the Learning Commons at Bishop Ryan Secondary School located at 1824 Rymel Road East. Today's class is scheduled from 4.30 to 8 p.m. and other classes are scheduled for June 6th, June 11th, and June 13th. A reminder to the senior badminton team to meet after school tomorrow in front of the main office with their team jerseys. And now for your sports, yesterday your junior boys soccer team secured their spot in Wednesday's championship game. It was a battle until the final whistle, but your Knights defeated BT 2-1. Goals were scored by Lucas Frada and Aiden Burke. Congrats boys and thanks STM. Good morning STM. Very quickly, it's not going to be that quick. We're here talking about the Athlete of the Year. The nominations are done. The lists are down to a final five. And uh, I'm going to announce the final five names in each category now. Uh, just before we do, big note, to be in this category at this school of 2,000 kids where athletics are top shelf, what a huge honor to be named to the top five in these categories. Also, to all people named in the top five, we're going to need you to come down to Seymour tomorrow during first to have your picture taken for the end of the year assembly. And here are the top five in each category. So for junior male, the top five are Max Barber, Elijah Barnes, Brennan Russell, OJ Salmon, and Anthony Veneri. For junior girls, the top five, Jessica Anziano, Julia Sherratt, Christine Cooper, Rachel Rinali, and McKenna Williamson. For senior girls, the top five, Emily Calabrese, Alessandra Sherratt, Elias and Michioni, T. Petrantonio, and Trudy Vaughn. And for the senior boys, top five are Adam Kozlinski, Dante Medeiros, Ethan Monahan, Isaiah Parkinson, and Edrin Williams. So congratulations to all of you. It's a huge honor at this school. We'll be putting this up again tomorrow, but for tomorrow, come down, see Mr. Marlin, have your picture taken for the slideshow. Congratulations to all the top five nominees. STM Thomas, 937. Have a great day.